to Kennedy Space Center! Yay! <laughs> for the launch of Cosmic Quest. The only gameplay experience in the galaxy that will be featuring real NASA missions. I'm joined today by our very own Robonaut, much like NASA's R2 robot, currently aboard the International Space Station. Say hello to our guests, Robonaut. You might be wondering, folks, exactly what is Cosmic Quest? Well, I'll tell you. Using a custom, custom Cosmic Quest much like the ones you have today, you will embark on five NASA-inspired missions. Each adventure is based upon NASA science and its future missions. Our first astronaut is a graduate of West Point and an accomplished pilot. He serves as the Commander Module Pilot for Apollo 15. It is my honor to introduce Colonel Al Warden. Our next astronaut and team captain is a naval aviator, a captain in the United States Marine Corps, a Vietnam veteran, and a five-time space shuttle astronaut. Please give a warm welcome to Dr. Norm Thagard. Another highly decorated naval aviator with nearly 9,000 hours flying time. He is Space Shuttle Pilot, Captain John McBride. He is a former pilot of the, our very own Space Shuttle Atlantis, Captain Mike McCulley. Welcome, gentlemen. Play. Are you excited? Yes, and I know what this one's going to be. Kelly knows this one. This one is Journey to Mars. Well, I'm going in here, and I know what the one is. It's the one that you build like a environment on Mars. All right, so I recruit Astro Allison. So Kelly's going to try it. In this mission, you will be leading the creation of a temporary base of exploration on Mars. To assist in this effort, we've assembled a team of experts from the field of science, technology, engineering, and math. Wow, so it automatically checked them all off. Very cool. You'll be able to construct a successful colony to help your team survive. Good luck, trainee. Onward and upward. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you complete your demo. You have to play all four of them before you can play the game. Cosmic Quest is that you get to explore and learn new things and my favorite quest is Journey to Mars right there because you get to make your own space base. Alright, we're off to Space Shuttle Atlantis. 
awesome. Isn't that I know, crazy? It's awesome. It's awesome. It's huge. It's huge. Pretty amazing. We're going through the gift shop. And look at the gift shop is fun. Look at that. That's the changing room, which is a bus. <laughs> so pretty cool. Pretty fun gift shop. But we're here for our Cosmic Quest. And it looks like we might have found it. This looks like fun. Yes. Whoa. Holy Moses. This is so cool. Oh, hey, that's the astronaut. That's cool. Oh, he's, yeah, here's what it looks like. Oh, like What does that say? Quick. No way I'm going to there first. There goes go. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the cosmic quest here at the Atlantis experience. What's that? Ooh, this one looks hard. Which one are you gonna do? Mine is that one. Healthy Clothes, living. Loop. Materials, plant systems. I'll do plant systems. Plant systems first. Well, welcome, trainee. I'm Halim Solanki, a botanist here at NASA. My research involves the growth of plants and the development of greenhouse systems in unusual environments like the zero gravity of outer space. For this adventure, our goal is to create an efficient greenhouse system using a variety of plants that produce a maximum abundance of food for astronauts. Visit the following labs and then proceed to the International Space Station Research Control Station and use the Cosmic Quest activation device to begin the challenge. Bah. We were going to Venus to do a thing and Kelly had to stop. How do astronauts go? Toilets on the space station. What do you think? <laughs> That's the toilet on the space station. <laughs> that was toilet looked like. It actually looks like a typical check, check lights. Mate check. Blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Pretty much everyone is Spanish. International Space Station Orbital Outhouse Team. <laughs> so I'm assuming you use this. Um, um, I'm a guessing. <laughs> so here are the instructions. Take a seat. Use the camera. Aim is very important. <laughs> Kelly's testing it out. <laughs> so use the camera. Aim is very important. A bad angle. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Parting ways. Minor coaxing. <laughs> Flushing and cleanup. That is pretty funny. All right, so we got distracted. All right. Oh, and you got distracted by how they eat and sleep too? Astronaut dining. <laughs> And then how astronauts sleep. But this is why we're here. Kelly found the Venus station. Sunlight systems, like light emitting diodes, which are energy efficient and easy to transport. And there's another one right behind you. Is Neptune one too? Vegetables that grow quickly and are loaded with nutrients such as lettuce. I got distracted. Look at the bottom of the Atlantis. That is so cool. All right, we're still on our cosmic quest. We're wandering through the gift shop on the way out and look at all the patches. This is amazing. And it looks like there's a different patch for each flight because it has different astronaut names on it. How cool is that? And then if you want pins too, they have pins and coins. 
and then look at the Mission Attach Handbook. I could totally see this being one that Kelly would go nuts over. Do you like this? Because you go nuts over patches and... <laughs> yeah. And then I have to say, look how cute! Hunter would go nuts over this little pink bear. Oh, and then there's a monkey. Cute! And then the bear on the bottom too. Look like... <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> Kelly decided to go play in the junior astronaut section. Which is basically the huge playground. Pretty smushy, kid. Like, I can't Are you stuck? No, I'm not stuck. Oh, you can't reach the. Uh... Yeah, like... Well, we had fun at Kennedy Space Center. Fun. Cosmic Quest. Awesome. You liked it? It was fun? Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of cool. We definitely learned a lot. So, thumbs up. You want to check it out next time you're over here at Kennedy Space Center. There is an extra fee for it, but it's well worth it. It was a lot of fun. Keep on dreaming, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.